let us look into the properties of the pre-stressing steel. This is the typical stress strain curve of a pre-stressing steel. Without sharp turning point, the U point is not that obvious. From the stress strain curve, we are able to obtain the characteristic strain of the pre-stressing steel. This includes the characteristic breaking strength, FPK, which is defined as the highest point of the pre-stressing steel. The corresponding strength, which is epsilon UK, will be the ultimate strength of the pre-stressing steel. The stress strength response initiated with an elastic gradient which is known as the elastic modulus. Taking the gradient of the elastic region, offset it by 0.1% strength, the intersections of the offset line with the curve here is defined as the U stress FP 0.1K. The 0.1 here refers to 0.1% offset strength. From here, we are able to determine the FPK, FP 0.1K, and also epsilon UK. The typical stress strength curve can be idealized into this idealized design stress strength diagram for pre-stressing steel. The idealized response of the pre-stressing steel is represented by two straight lines here. The highest point will be the FPK. The intersection here will be the FP0.1K. That means the idealized curve on the typical curve will look something like this. As for the design strength, the ultimate strength will have to be divided by factor of safety of the material. This gives an offset line of the same gradient here. Same goes to the design U strength, which is FP0.1K divided by partial factor of safety of the material. The design U strength will be here. The strength at the U point can be determined from these equations which is obtained from FPD, this one, divided by the modulus of elasticity. Similar to the assumptions for the Euro code on the non pre-stressing steel, which we have discussed previously, there are two assumptions of the post yielding response of the pre-stressing steel. The design assumptions is either by the inclined line 1 or the horizontal line 2. If the inclined line 1 is used, there will be a strength limit which is known as the epsilon UD and this epsilon UD is equal to 0 0.9 times epsilon UK. Alternatively, if the line 2 is adopted, there will be no strength limits. The equations for the design strength is given here, which is the specified yield strength divided by partial factor of safety. As for the ductility, it is the ratio of the breaking strength divided by x u strength and the ductility need to be at least 1.1. That means the FPK 
needs to be at least 10% higher than the FP0.1K. The FP0.1K is obtained from 0.1% of set strength and it is normally falling in the range of 0.8 to 0.88 times the FPK. And the term characteristic, the K in the symbol of FPK, it represents the 95% probability of the samples having the strength higher than that. These are the properties of the pre-stressing steel, which include the wire, strand, and also bar. There will be FPK, FP0.1K, the design stress, the modulus of elasticity, and also the ultimate strand. The properties are normally given by the manufacturer or the relevant standards. This is another set of the properties of the pre-stressing steel. You have wires of different diameters, strength of different diameters and also bars of different diameters. The physical properties are given here which include the mass and also cross-sectional area, the characteristic breaking strength and also the yield strength are given here. All these properties are important for the design of pre-stressing members. This table shows the yield strength and ductility class of the reinforcement with the characteristic strength of 400 to 600. The minimum value of K which is defined by the ratio of the ultimate strength divided by XU strength are given here. And its ultimate strengths are given here as well.